there's my chatter bait for the day I know we got some dark chocolate water down there so I'm running black and black and red got a special world famous fisherman on my channel today gonna get his ass kicks TV I think is the name of his channel teach you how to fish I'm gonna teach you how to vlog. Gonna, gonna come home let the old man put the whooping on him for kind of stinky once. stuff you got on that oh oh yeah well, that would work yeah it's gonna work you wait, know what's wait till you guys see what the water looks like when I came home I don't know if you've noticed it but I noticed it instantly that is literally chocolate milk that's a milk company man I don't know. I don't drink milk. Don't do my body good. I was going to crack a joke, but I don't even, I don't even know a milk brand. This is milk Mayfield. No, Mayfield chocolate milk? Is that ice cream? I don't know, dude. I don't know. Since everybody else in the YouTube world does little pictures like this, I'm going to post one like this for you guys to see. I don't know why these dorks do this. Here, I got to put the bait in there, too. Here's what happens in the YouTube world. One does it, we all do it, right? Not. All right. Heading down the lake down there. At the end of the subdivision. Stay tuned. To see the boy get his butt whooped. Watch this. In front of the whole world. Watch this. Yo, whoever's editing this, this is when you transfer it over right here. So I'm gonna be showing Big Steve how to film a vlog today. And uh, we're about to go down to the pond right now. It's actually very chilly. What, how come do you think it is outside? Probably I don't know. This thing makes me look like I have a bra on. I know, you always gotta get the boob. Got those man boobs going it's down. The, it's the booby cam. You, you, gotta, you gotta sit up pretty good though. Just, just you gotta show the people what you've been filming. I'm with. legit. Yeah, that's pretty good. I, I like it. I think it looks good. Up. See, it's kind of similar. I mean, the only difference is mine has a random piece of Band-Aid on top of it. If you're, <laughs> one, if you're wondering about that, I don't really that's know why. That's to get the hurt um, put on him. Man, it could be. <laughs> but yeah, we're about to walk down in this pond one thing look at the swan dude the swan is already it's straight for trooping over dude, here he got mean in the, in the cold last time i was down here he tried to attack me twice really the swan don't play no games. well that'd be interesting but we're about to walk down here we're gonna see if we can catch some fish i came home and the first thing i noticed that was just crazy was the pond and the color of the pond it's like freaking chocolate milk so I don't know. We're going to go down here and see if we can catch a fish. We'll show you what we have tied on here. Or I'll show you what I have tied on here to show you. But, yeah. It doesn't really... You can't really tell right now because it's like the sun's not out. But when the sun was out, it looked like chocolate milk. Let's I'm go down here. Pick. Which side do we go to? Left or right? First? I'd say left. Right. I, I, I want to try some of the shallow stuff because of what I have tied on. But, I don't know. I guess we'll see. So, what do you think about the right, the left side? Does that find the start off? I don't know. It's cold out here. The water's way up as high as I've ever seen this lake. So I guess the philosophy is the water goes up, the fish go up. So they might be in the shallow side. But at the same time, the water temps are super cold. So they could be down in that. We know over there, it's like a little tiny oh, ditch. Boy, Look at that. He is coming out. We already called it. I don't understand this, man. If you guys have any suggestions down below how to stop this, then let us know because we, yeah, you can't, you can't. You can't even go fishing because this man just wants to walk up off on you. That's a big boy too. Yeah. See, that's those are two big, big boys right there. I don't know, dude. He looks like not dirty. He looked dirty in this. Look how mad. Look how mean he is, man. I don't know. It's crazy. We're gonna start fishing, but yeah, chocolate milk. I told you, Mayfield. I don't even know if Mayfield's a milk brand. I know it's an ice cream brand, but Mayfield chocolate milk up in this water. You guys are wondering what I'm using. I just got a little crawl on right here. Um, I got some more in my pockets. He's not gonna do nothing. I got some more of these in my pockets that are black and blue, which is gonna be good for the stained water, but I already have this on, so I'm gonna give it a shot. I have it weightless, just so we can fish some of this shallower water over here um, and work it very, very slow. And I'm gonna be showing you a little trick that big Steve right here doesn't know. So let's see if we can catch fish. You ready? He, he does not care. He does not care one bit. So what does that do for the people watching? You hear him make that noise? I've never seen a goose this big and brave in my life. So what does that do what you were just doing? I think it makes you more intimidating. It makes you look bigger. See how he's got his wings bowed up? That's when he's pissed. So he bows up and he tries to get intimidated by putting his wings up. And I think when you do the same back, now he keeps messing with big boy. He's liable to end up on the dinner plate. You see what I'm saying? 
I don't think he's gonna do anything else. All right, we're spending max. We're, we're spending max. All of our time. Five minutes right here. <laughs> I think next time we come down here, we might have to bring some barbecue sauce so you can see that. Has he got it? Yeah, he's got it around his neck, bro. Shit, Dad. Do you got a new line? Cut it with that. Teeth. Cut it with your teeth. I Cut can't. It. There you go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Things either gonna hate you for the rest of your life. Now I've got nothing to fish with, bro. I literally just cut that. Well, that's what the goose gets for coming and running up on my fishing string. He got it wrapped around his foot or he got something, so I cut the string as fast as I could before he got a hook in him. So hopefully the hook's in the bottom of the lake somewhere. <sighs> now I've got nothing to fish with, guys, so I think by the time I go out there and come back. Oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. What you think? And you did call him. He's right there. Look at that. Look how white these fish are because it's cold water right here. That's why you use something slow right there. See that? It's weightless. Fishing that thing in shallow water, just letting it sit. And that's not a big bass by any means, but still a beautiful little fish. It's got little white colors. That's what happens when cooler water temps and even the color of this water. Pretty little bass. That is the first fish today. You better go tie some on, man. I go tie some on, man. I think you got about 15 minutes. I'd want you to catch one, or unless you want to use my rod, and I can do it. You want to use my rod? I already caught one. Yeah. Well, train spots a big Steve. I already caught one. He's gonna try. He's gonna run to the house. Dude, I'll try that little tiny corner over there. I'm gonna run to the house and handle his dirty work. Put us a put us a new bait on here. He's gonna keep throwing that crawl. All right. Well, you gotta hurry. Because if Big Steve hooks a fish, he's allergic, as most of you guys know, and he will not be able to take the fish off, so I'll be back. So we tied a basic EWG hook on here. I already had a worm on it. What we're going to do, this is a Big Steve's rod, but I'll rig it up anyways. We're just going to put one of these crawls on here. These are like, they're not black and blue. They're actually fairly a little weird. That's actually perfect for this watercolor though. It's like supposed to be more of like a dark blue, but it almost looks black. I think that's gonna be key. So if you guys watching, don't know how to rig a Texas rig, all you do, go through the head right there, break through, twist it back up to the front of the hook, and you're gonna lay the hook on the bait, and where this end part lays, you're gonna puncture the hook. Just like this, back through, then we're gonna bury the hook. There you go. You got a weightless Texas rig with a crawl. Oh yeah. I got him. Yeah. He's small, but he's a fish. He was on that same, the same stuff that that fish was on. There's that little isolated stuff hanging off. That is not the size we're looking for. Look at the colors on that fish from this water. And God, that is crazy. You got one? Yeah, I got one. He's stuck up in the grass. Oh. <laughs> yeah. They're on that stuff, dude. Every single fish came on that same type of stuff. Sorry, well, at man. least I'm making a comeback trail here. I thought I was going to zero out on you. Well, we got three pretty quick. That's that's not bad. Look at this guy. You you want a fish? You see, notice the colors on. It's just crazy. yeah, they're pale, pale. I'm like so pale it's from that water. Thank you, sir. Wow. <laughs> they're on the other one too, isn't it? You think I was the same one that bit you? Yeah. Oh. He tugged on me a minute ago. I had my GoPro turned off. I'm like, better turn that thing back on. Yeah, huh? there you go. It's one to two. Now we gotta find some more isolated grass patches, which I don't even know how many more will be out here. No white 
walked right past this little grass patch right here. Right on the edge of the bank. I don't think a GoPro will probably pick it up.